Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is BJ and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to see how we can use Twitter web part in SharePoint online site page. So basically, if you'll see a lot of organization will have a Twitter account and they want to show some feeds in the home page of their internet portal maybe. So for that reason, Microsoft has come up with a Twitter web part and very easily we can configure it to show tweets or a particular tweet or you can able to display tweets from a particular account as well. So what I will do here is you can see here this is my SharePoint online modern site. I'll go to pages and you can see here I can create a page here. Let's say I'll create a site page and I will choose a name for it. So I will say Twitter uh, demo and uh, i'll uh, you can see here if you'll click on this plus button you can be able to see uh, various web parts on this and if i'll search on this then you can see here twitter so now you can see here this is twitter and then it is showing that uh, by default you can see here uh, it is showing us that you can uh, put a username twitter username or a or a link that you can put uh, uh, or you can uh, show a collection as well. So I can put, let's say, I will say enjoy SharePoint. So this is the Twitter handle for the site. So you can see here now it will show me, uh, you can see show me tweets from this uh, Twitter handle. And uh, then you can see uh, if you want to show the header, you can enable this option. It will add the header here. You can see tweets from NJ SharePoint and then display divider by default. It is on. So you will be able to see between the uh, two tweets. There will be dividers, theme colors. You can see light. And here you can see how many tweets you want to show. Let's say five tweets, I'll say. So now it will show me five tweets. And the last option so you can see here, if you now you, uh, you know show all tweets, the last option. Uh, now what is happening is you can scroll down and see all the five tweets. If I'll just enable this option on, then you can see here by default all the tweets are uh, on in that particular uh, web part. So uh, that is how we can use this. Another way you can do is uh, I can just go to my Twitter handle and here you can see here this is the Twitter handle. Now here suppose I will click on this tweet and then you can take this URL. You can see here this is the tweet URL. I'll just copy it. I'll go here and I will put this. So now you can see here, it will just display me that particular tweet. So if I will now publish this page, in this page, uh, you will be able to see only one tweet, which is for, which we have embedded it. So this is how we can use the Twitter web part uh, to display tweets or uh, feeds from particular Twitter URL, or you can show a particular tweet by using this Twitter web part. So if you want similar kind of video tutorial, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get a lot of free videos on Microsoft 365 technologies like SharePoint Online, Power Platform, and SPFX. So thank you and have a nice day.